Welcome back. If you want to see tomorrow's game, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Today's game starts now. All right, we got the black pieces again. What do you think? Oh, E4. All right, try this dragon one more time. Ah, we got the boulder. So we do this first, and remember if we get this, we're gonna play this. Boom. Okay, this is exactly what we got. Now I gotta think about it. Did we, did we play, are we supposed to play knight c6 first? Oh, I should have checked my, uh, I should have checked my repertoire. Can I just push this? No, I think I need to be here. I think I need to play these and then do it. I go here, he goes here. I think I think I can just do my thing then. I'm gonna do that, that might be wrong. But if he pushes, yeah, we're gonna do this. I think I'm awfully happy with this. I would love him to take here, take here, take here, take here. Nice aggressive position. Whoa! That's like the same thing we got in the uh, the other game. We, we inserted this move. Okay. Let's try to remember. Yeah, we definitely just castle with him here. What did we do? Do we we somehow got this? The game was kind of different. Okay. The game was kind of different. I could go here, send him back, and then push this, or not. Does this go here first? I think it might actually. No. Uh, do I just want this? This and this? Is it too cute? Just cute enough. He's probably he's gonna play one of these. Okay, we'll go with this. I think this was the opening where I trapped my own knight, and he didn't take it. So I want to avoid that as well. All right, what's he going to do? Come here? We'll just kick him, right? Kick, and we can even go back. Okay, and now the question is, do we want to go back? and put some pressure on him. Or we could go here and swap. And then like jump. This might be too aggressive, but I'd like to do it. Should take back with H pawn, I think. Yeah. Now we're putting some heat on him. And I think I'm gonna take with my queen. Whoa. Let's see. What are the plans here? 
I can just kick him back out, right? Repeat moves. Does he have anywhere to really go? I'm gonna offer to trade. I think that's bad for him. Oh. Really? Here, here. I think we go back now. I am afraid of like sacrifices on this. But I don't think I'm that afraid. Is that good for him? That seems so dangerous. Man, I really didn't think there was any way he was gonna... Hmm. Okay, I see a nice tactic. So I go here, here, he's got to take with this, and then I get to take this at the end. This is getting spicy, very spicy. My bishop is amazing. Just amazing, and his bishop is terrible. But he's up a pawn. A doubled pawn. Okay, he might have seen it. I think I can still do it, to be honest. Here. 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 Oh. What is this? I need to make that move. Can I still do it? No, I need to kick him out. I can threaten mate right over here. What will he even do? Move this? What will he even do? Yeah, I gotta move that. Um, hmm. Here, here, here. Ah, that is... The fact that he had that is too bad. So too bad. Yeah, I want to move the queen. He doesn't have any checks. This is a great place to move it. He's gotta move his F-pawn. Still doesn't have a lot of squares, so if I come in with a check. He will then for sure have this square. Where will I go then? Where will I go then? Okay, so we'll kick the knight first then. And he will likely go here.
I go check. He goes here. I go there. I use that pin. Is that the move? That might be the move. This is so tricky. Huh. <laughs> what a move. Go there. <laughs> yeah, okay, you found that. Uh, hmm. Here now? Or take, take the queen. Take the queen. Who won the queen? It's funny how you can see that you're threatening a queen, but then not see it anymore. <clears throat> okay. So I think we want to go here now. Hopefully I don't drop a queen. He'll go here. Maybe. Okay, similar idea. Okay, we just need to activate our rooks. Start kicking these pieces away. If I go here, where's he going? Nowhere fast. Really only one safe square is here, and then I go here. And then he's trapped. Okay, I think we trapped him. That was a nice tactic. I think that worked. Oh no, he's attacking me. Who's attacking who? Um, okay, so the question is, is this defending anything that needs to be defended? Or can I just move it out of the way before I keep attacking? I think I just go here, right? This is fine. I guess it opens up that. Oh, that's kind of gross. No, because I take this before you can fork me. That's fine. It's fine. Boom, boom. Yeah. Boom, boom. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Did we miss anything? I don't think so. Reroute now. Just need to not drop any pieces. Threatening mate. Oh, there's a big fork too. I could have just done that instead of threatening mate. But I could probably do it right after I... I think he's got to go like here and here. Okay. He's going to check me. I'm going to block it.
Is this me? Boom! Got him. Very nice, very nice. All right, so uh, I'm pretty sure this is one we already looked at, and let's see how we did. We remembered to play A6 this time. That was something we learned in a, an older video. And the reason is we want to avoid this check whenever we play d5. And we remembered uh, remember to play bishop c6. We remember this goofy, symmetrical-looking structure. And we played the right thing. And then in the last game, we played against d3, which, remember, was not very ambitious, and I was kind of complaining about it. And uh, But this time, we got a new move. We got e5. So let's see if this is in one of our courses. So the first one that I want to check is see if it's in our dragon course. Okay, it's not in the dragon course. Now I'm going to see if it's in my anti-Sicilians course. It's not my anti-Sicilian course either. Okay. And that's, is that because my anti-Sicilian course Okay, my anti-Sicilian course preferred knight f6. That's interesting. I don't make sure I didn't get that wrong. Make sure that knight c6 is what I'm supposed to do in the dragon. Huh. How did I decide on knight c6? I'm going to go watch the video and find out. I sort of trust it, though. Knight c6 is in there in my in my uh, my July working course. All right, I'm gonna do some research. I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, okay, I found it. So it is in the dragon repertoire. It just uh, I don't know for some reason it wasn't showing up. It wasn't showing up. So we remembered that right, and we'll go to chessable real quick. Uh, we'll go from chessable to lead chess. I think we're going to find there's no Masters games where people played like this because it's just not it's just not quite good enough. Let's see. Played this, played this. We got this. Yeah, Knight C and Knight F are both totally fine. Okay, Knight C6 is even more popular at the Super GM or at the GM level, so that's probably why that's what he's got us playing. And then I think this is what we got in our game, right? Okay, it is, it is. And then we played the normal move. And then we got the goofy E5. We, okay, it has been played. It has been played. Oh, and maybe it's just a free pawn. Maybe it's just a free pawn. Let's see how common this is among the, the plebes. It's a little more common, a little more. Black scores really well with knight, knight g4. d5 also scores pretty well. But neither of the neither of the masters played that. Neither of the masters played that. What does Stockfish think? Okay, so you can't see it, but Stockfish says minus 2 for knight g4 and minus 0.8 for d5. So d5 is good. It's just not the best, and that's good. We should we should know this. We should we should play if we can get minus two. It means we're probably winning that pawn for free. So let's check that out, and let's see d4. Well, these are both ways of defending the pawn. These are both ways of so if d4, what happens? C takes, knight takes, take back. Okay, this is just a clean center pawn up. So that makes sense to me. I understand that. And what if then uh, queen e2 move? Queen c7 pile up, and now is there no way? There's no way to defend from here, huh? There's no way. To, there's just no way to defend. So he just has to give up, and then we take it back. Okay, so that's a free center pawn. So we should we should know to take that, even though it's. It's one more thing to memorize, and normally, you know, it's fine to play that d5 move. Um, that's good. And just let's, before we leave, let's just see how people 
go wrong. So there's d4. Yeah, everyone's taking. They must just be getting outplayed in like time scrambles. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a real problem. Oh, they're taking one b. That's probably wrong. I take that way, don't you? No, b is even better. Okay, okay, I stand corrected. Um, really, that's so funny to me that you take this way. Yeah, I would definitely take with my knight, but I guess winning the tempo is good. Uh, and then how else do people go wrong against this? You just got to see the queen c7 and the fact that you're piling up. And then you're just in a great position. Okay, that's fantastic. Let's go back to the chessable. Okay, then what we got in the game was this. And we want to remember to play this. And I think the key move is going to be queen e2 and then we just got to remember to attack and yeah what's he what's he what's he gonna do not much not much we're really just gonna be taking here so let's oh i'm on the wrong wrong screen sorry about that just we'll explore our screen there we go so i'll just show the last couple moves boom easy and we will add this to our course and let's see so I'm going to put the key move at, at a6 again, because I did have trouble with that before. And we play it with black, not white. Cool, and let's uh, let's see how those tactics worked out. All right, so we're about at the same place. This is probably our mistake. It was d5 here. Um, but not, not bad, not a big mistake. Got a position we're comfortable with. Castle, castle. B6, it likes B6. I, did, I wasn't sure what plan to do here. It likes doubling up, putting a little pressure on here. Obviously, we'd have to deal with that knight first, but it likes B6, almost like a hedgehog structure. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Queen C7 now it wanted, but I think kicking was fine. This, was this a little aggressive? It's okay with this plan. Oh, it liked what he found here. It liked what he found. Oh, no, no, no. No, it wanted him to move his other knight in. I spoke too soon. Or take. Or go out. Okay, it didn't. doesn't like what he found anymore. What did it want me to do? Oh, it was fine with what I did. I didn't, it didn't think I needed to go back and trade. Okay, and then it did want me to just swap these off and then step up. Maybe I should have stepped up to begin with. Did I just give up a pawn? No. No, okay, he couldn't do that. So he, he could have traded here. And then jumped in to here. And that would have been totally equal. But yeah, he couldn't take that pawn. Ooh, where's the tactic? There's a tactic to win the whole knight here. Oh, maybe not. It's just a crushing attack. Kind of pre preempting the problem. So it, it's the same same kind of tactic that I saw, but slightly different. This is minus four. Wow, why? Rook h6, what? Queen d6. I have no idea what's happening here. This, I mean, I can see that it's a great attack. What if I go here? Distract him? Is it this? Wow. Block his own F pawn. That is nasty. Okay, then he takes, which is wrong. He should have just ran away with it. And now we were right. We, we, we spotted a gray tactic here. Yeah, queen of six. Okay, that was it. 
F5. I was worried that this was wrong somehow. I was worried that he was going to get like a check in. I don't know. We had everything covered, but it was a little concerning. And then we found the right tactics. Queen H2. Oh, F4 to try to come in this way. So I did also see that as a follow up, but I did not consider it here. I thought my I thought my bishop tactic was too good. Also this, to, same idea, same idea. I was, I was a little afraid of, I guess if here, 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 I guess that's not really a problem. Let's just look at that line. So we're just winning. Okay. So the bishop line, how is he supposed to play against that? Not rook g1 and give up the queen. Oh, queen f3. Rook e6. Knight d4. Check, maybe. It was a little dangerous. I would have been a little scared of this. Big check. Run away. Try to bring the other rook in. F4. That's a little scary. It's a little scary. Can't check me anymore. Wow. Okay. King's just safe in the middle of the board. Now let's see. There's a mate in seven. <laughs> there's a mate in seven, uh, which involved this. I did reuse my pin. What? Or we're, we're almost mating. Okay, because because we control these, I guess. Okay, I did not I did not realize I could reuse that pin. I probably should have kept my eye on that tactic. Yep, we trapped him just like we thought. Very nice. Mate in two. We did not finish him in two moves. We saw like more like the mate in eights. Mate too, yeah, pa pause your video and uh, look for it, I guess. That uh, makes sense. Nowhere to go. Bang. 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 Distraction. Filthy. We did... This is with the mate in eight. Or, uh... Mate, mate in... Mate in seven from here. We might have gotten it in exactly seven. Knight g4, king f1, mate in six. Oh no, we gave him back to 10. Nice block, nice. Finish him off. Hey, not bad, not bad. Oh, we've been gaining a lot of rating. 